Uh, today, all of a sudden, what, what was to be a normal Monday afternoon has turned into an active shooter situation uh, with literally hundreds of, of police vehicles and police personnel now on the scene and uh, ready for the worst, if you will. We, we have seen most uh, of the officers uh, fully geared, ready to go, depending on what they expect to find or what they will find inside. We want to get back over to Mark Salinger, who again is now at the store. Mark. Yeah, Tom and Kim, it's 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 still a, a very sad and scary situation as it's going on right now and an emphasis on sad. We just saw people uh, just a, a couple feet away from us who were presumably inside the store walking out, uh, speaking with police officers uh, as they were walking out. The police gave them blankets and many of them were in tears and you just have to put yourself in their position and think about what they've presumably just been through and it's impossibly difficult to figure out what thoughts they're even experiencing right now. So our thoughts and prayers are with them and for everybody who was inside of the store at that time. Uh, again, to bring it back out here into the to uh, the amount of law enforcement that are out here, you can see these people are just uh, coming here watching, but we, we have countless SWAT vehicles that are around here. We have uh, hundreds easily of police officers, uh, fire trucks, paramedics, SWAT teams, uh, they're just absolutely everywhere. And, and, and as far as the eye can see, they're uh, down the street, there's just uh, flashing lights and, uh, and police officers. We don't want to show you exactly the tactics that police are using right now and where they are surrounding the building because, of course, if this still is an ongoing active shooter situation, we don't want to give away any information that could potentially harm individuals. So we want to make sure to be very careful about that. And we won't show any of those uh, tactics that they're using. But as my photographer Taylor pans around here, the scene that you can tell is one that is very scary. And unfortunately, we've seen scenes like this far too often in this country of, of mass shootings that end with lives that are lost. And unfortunately, we don't know exactly what's going on right now. We're waiting to hear from Boulder police, but the amount of police officers, the amount of law enforcement vehicles that are here right now tells you that this is an extremely serious situation. And the, the law enforcement officers that are moving and that we see right now, are moving very, very quickly, which presumably would, you know, with that sense of urgency, would at least lead you to believe that there is still some sense uh, of something that needs to be taken care of right away. Tom and Kim. You have to wonder, uh, police needing to access that store's security system and to use it as a tactic as well, but trying to clear a building that large and uh, the fear, of course, still being uh, that this might also have a hostage situation attached to it as well. All that. Uh, is up in the air. We don't know what's going on inside that building right now. But uh, I, I know what you're talking about, Mark, that, that, that sense being right there with those people who've experienced something they certainly never wanted to or planned to today, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and you have to put yourself in, in that position and you can't even imagine the thoughts that are going through their mind. Uh, and, and, you know, our thoughts are with them again. And it's just a... It, if there's one word that comes to mind right now, it's scary. Uh, I mean, you go to a grocery store. I was at a grocery store this morning and, you know, you go in and, and take care of whatever business that you have to take care of, but you don't think that you need to watch out for something like this. And, and, and this afternoon in Boulder, this is presumably what's been happening. And that's extremely scary for people who were just walking out, uh, you know, just talking to police officers right now, but that were presumably inside the, uh, inside the supermarket when it happened. Yeah, that's such an important point to note. And um, again, we have Mark at an area where, as you pointed out, we're not able and we're not going to share anything that would cross into sharing police tactics because we certainly, certainly don't know the circumstances right now. We don't know if somebody has been arrested or they've been able to make contact with someone. And as you pointed out, the size of the store and you think of the number of exits and places to hide and, and just tracking every single employee or person in the grocery store and making sure they're accounted for. Yeah, and, 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 and it's important to note that we don't yet know exactly what's happened here. We're hoping to learn more information. We're, we're, we're at the area right now where uh, police officers have said that they will brief the media with the information that they want to give out right now uh, shortly, but we don't know when that will happen. So we're waiting here in, in hopes that we can learn more information 
over the next, you know, however long uh, it, it takes for uh, police officers to gather that information and tell the public. But there are a lot of different law enforcement agencies that are here right now. I'm standing in front of a Bro Broomfield police car as we speak. Uh, we, we saw the Jeffco Sheriff's uh, SWAT team was here. Denver police has a lot of officers here. Denver SWAT team also has officers here. Uh, and, and the public information officer who I just spoke with uh, is said that she was from the Broomfield Police Department and is aiding uh, the Boulder Police Department. So there's a lot of moving pieces right now that's going on, uh, which is obviously contributing to the fact that we don't know a whole lot right now, but this also didn't happen that long ago. Tom and Kim. It's amazing to see that size of a response in such a short order, not just, as you say, Boulder Police, but uh, every neighboring agency has, has arrived. The, the call clearly went out that this was a very dangerous situation. Yeah, uh, a lot of different agencies right now. And you can see uh, police departments use almost like RVs as mobile command posts. And there are several on this street down Broadway, which is uh, you know one of the main streets in Boulder. And now it's completely closed off. Uh, Colorado State Patrol is here. Uh, there are tons of unmarked police cars that you wouldn't even think are police cars with their lights on. And I want to step out again of the camera and, and show you what's going on. You can see uh, one of the SWAT vehicles here from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is moving in. Uh, that that he's heading in the direction of the store right there. Uh, the, there, there are SWAT vehicles absolutely everywhere. We don't yet know how many different agencies are here, how many police officers, how many firefighters are here, but I can tell you that there are, is a tremendous amount of law enforcement uh, that, that is here uh, right now taking care of whatever needs to be taken care of uh, inside the store. It's a cold and gray day. There's been a lot of just flat light throughout the day, and uh, I don't as, as we keep alluding to, don't really know what's happening there. But daylight is still available for at least two and a half more hours or so. Usually the sun now setting after seven o'clock. But as dark as it is today, it may be a, a factor that, uh, that as far as how long this does play out. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's it's there's still a lot of light right now, but it is a very gloomy day. Uh, it, it's it, it was snowing this morning. Uh, I, I want to pause for a second to see if I can listen to an announcement that's going off over the loudspeakers right now from the SWAT team, and I want to see if we can listen to that. We couldn't gauge what it was saying because the 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 speaker is pointed in the direction of the store but it, it was potentially giving commands of some sort. Uh, said to surrender now. And, and you can see SWAT officers moving here running as they're running. Uh, this is what I was alluding to earlier mm. with how tense and active this situation is in, in, in that it is still very, very active with police officers with long guns. We're gonna grab our stuff here. Uh, uh, my photographer Taylor and I and see if we can get a little bit closer, Tom and Kim. Uh, the, the, the shot will, can, will move a little bit, if you can forgive us for that, but we're gonna try and get a different angle so that we can gauge a little bit more about what's going on.